Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Playing Around with Visual Basic. Uh, today we're going to explore another way of making an object move on the screen by using the timer object. So to start off with, as you can see, we have <clears throat> the little pig that we imported uh, last tutorial onto the screen and I have deleted all the uh, code that I wrote um, last tutorial so it's just a blank form with a picture box which I have called pick picture and I've loaded the image uh, inside the uh, picture box uh, object and there's nothing else in the program so if you play uh, if you run the program you should get no reaction to anything okay so now let's uh, put in one thing at a time and the first thing we want is to drag in to our form the timer object which you're going to find inside all windows forms inside the toolbox and scroll down to timer and you're going to drag that onto your form which is going to uh, create a little bar here with the timer one object inside <clears throat> okay so now that you have the timer one object here I'll just briefly explain what it does and basically the timer object uh, will ensure that uh, <clears throat> every uh, couple of uh, whatever number of seconds you specify so whatever number you put in here the interval which is in milliseconds so every a hundred milliseconds which we've specified in this case it will run some code that you type in inside the uh, timer uh, event so uh, so basically let's just program that and see what happens so let's double click on our form to start coding and basically when uh, at the beginning of our code let's just put in firstly uh, the key down event key down procedure like we did before so click on form one events in the drop down box and click on um, key down okay so this is pretty much the same as what we did last time and we want a select case statement so when the event uh, when the key down, when a key is pressed, uh, we want to execute the select case statement. So when the key is equal to, uh, when the key is equal to the right arrow key, what code are we going to run? Okay, so back in the form one. Uh, public class what we want to put in here is a uh, a variable we're going to declare a variable uh, which we're going to call so dimension uh, we're going to call move right uh, as boolean so a boolean variable can either store true or false that's it there's two possible uh, options inside a boolean variable unlike the integer variable which we used last time okay so we have the move right variable and when the right key is pressed the move right variable is going to be true okay and if the left key is pressed however then the move right variable is going to be false. 
So when the left arrow key is pressed, then the move right variable is going to be false. Okay, so what happens if we run the program? Nothing happens. We press the right arrow key, nothing happens at all. It's because we haven't specified how we want the uh, pig to move. So therefore, uh, let's double click on the timer one object. And now here is the code that we put in to this procedure whenever the timer ticks. So every, if you click on the timer one object, you'll see that every 100 milliseconds, that's when the timer is going to tick. And it's going to execute whatever code we put inside this procedure. So let's put in here, um, let's put in here, when the timer ticks, we're gonna if we're gonna test if the move right variable is true if it is true then we're gonna move our pig to the right uh, by one unit Okay, and the last thing we want to do is just to make the timer start ticking as soon as we run the program. So double click on the background of the form. So we've got this procedure which states that when the form loads, we're going to turn on the timer. So timer one, we're going to start the, start the timer as soon as the form loads. So now if you press debugging and you press the right arrow key you'll see that the pig is slowly moving to the right now why is it moving so slow because the timer is ticking if you click on the timer and you see the interval the timer is ticking once every a hundred milliseconds okay so that means every uh, tenth of a second it's gonna tick once so in one second it's only ticking 10 times if we get rid of uh, 100 and make it uh, 50 it's gonna make the pig move twice as fast so if you press the right arrow key it's moving a lot faster if you try making it 25 it'll move faster again And if you make it 10, then it's going to move really fast. Okay. And obviously, as we coded already, if you press the left arrow key, it's going to stop moving. Why is that? Because if you have a look at our code, it says that when the left arrow key is pressed, the move right variable becomes false and the timer says that only when the move right variable is true the pig is going to move to the right okay so rather than me type showing you the whole thing you guys can now try to make your pig move around using the timer object and by the way when the pig is moving I am not holding down the arrow key so uh, when I press the right arrow key I have let go of the key and it's still moving and when I press the left key it stops moving so see if you can make your pig move in uh, all different directions and uh, that will be the end of the tutorial thanks for watching guys uh, see you next time